Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing crescent moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Capricorn. It's a love brief, August love brief. Let's find out what's going on with love. Spirit says whatever is going on, keep an open mind about it. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So they may look different. They will definitely act different. Mm -hmm. They are different. Yeah, there's nothing usual about this person. As a matter of fact, they are unusual. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. You know, we often ex ask spirit for something and then we determine how it's supposed to show up to what it's supposed to look like and if it doesn't meet our expectations then we are let down spirit says keep an open mind right from the start okay spirit he's telling me get another deck here we go qualify keeping an open mind what's going on with capricorn Love brief August. Thank you so much, Capricorn, especially to those of you who always give me positive feedback. Wow. Even if you're telling me I uploaded the wrong video, whatever you're telling me, you always give me positive feedback. And I keep an open mind when it comes to you. Okay, current energy for Capricorn, Holy Spirit. Current energy for Capricorn. Current and future energy for Capricorn. How's your day going? I hope you hear something you can resonate with. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And definitely leave me a comment. Ooh. Okay, okay, spirit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to leave it, all right, so you open up with the tower, scorpion energy, the tower finds you at a place where you need to start over, that's what the tower is, it's a major arcana, it's controlled by God, and Something is over. You can't return to it right now. It's done. There's nothing to return to. Absolutely. So you find yourself rebuilding, possibly uh, looking for a new soulmate, rebuilding your life after it exploded. Everything has changed or a lot of variables have changed as a result of what just happened. Here you show up, the devil card, Capricorn, you show up. You know, I like that. I like that. That means you survived this tower. <laughs> you survived this tower. And whatever this toxicity is, you survived it. This relationship was very toxic. Another major arcana, the devil is a major arcana. It is about toxicity, obsession, addiction, toxicity. Yeah, it doesn't work. The past didn't work, and that's why it was annihilated. The tower is here. Eventually, toxicity can only go but so far along, but so long before spirit breaks it up. I'm hearing you no longer want to work on something. Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like you don't want to invest time, energy, communication. You don't want to invest in it anymore. You, you don't want to invest in making something work. You want something new. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you are getting over the Three of Swords reverse heartbreak. But for whatever happened this time, that's it. The tower, that is it. You have to rebuild. You can't just return to that. 
The Ace of Pentacles is at the center of your reading, Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles, first of all, all aces are a blessing. So maybe by just getting out of this relationship, you generated some positive karma for yourself, a blessing. It took a lot of time because you had invested a lot of time, eight years, eight months, but you're not willing to invest anymore. You can't, even if you wanted to. So you're getting over this heartbreak and desiring something more. The Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is Pentacles is time, money, a relationship, a new beginning, a new start, a clean slate. Mm. It's not chaotic either. You know, when the Seven of Cups is upright, that's chaos, that's conflict, that's drama. When it comes to love, you're talking about a different type of love. Spirit says, keep an open mind because this soulmate is going to differ from your usual type. Your usual type was quite explosive and toxic. You have a lot of that in the past, but you're giving that up. You don't want to invest in that anymore. And when you raise your expectations in anything, right, then the past makes you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So I see that you still have a lot of options, Capricorn. I see there's still a lot circling you, vying for your attention. Mm -hmm. Somebody from the past may even come back with the Six of Cups here. The past could very well return, trying to stir up your emotions and your feelings. But you have grown. You've grown spiritually. You've grown, uh, how do I know that? Because you have the tower, the devil, and now the high priestess. Mm. The high priestess gives you spiritual insight, spiritual knowledge. Spirit has given you a blessing, which is the opportunity to start over a clean slate. Mm. You see this, you feel it, you're in tune with what is going on with you, and you decide to go with it, the two of swords reverse. You're decisive when it comes to your feelings, your emotions moving into a new direction regarding that. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's qualify the devil, the tower. Let's qualify this whole reading for Capricorn. Now, if you already have a soulmate, then this isn't your reading, right? Or if you're going through some things with your soulmate, then maybe it is. Or maybe just in general, you may hear something that you can resonate with. Also, listen to the signs, the readings for the other signs in your birth chart. I'm sure you'll get a message there. Let's get to the qualification. Ten of Wands is what caused the tower. Yeah, It had to come to the end. And then it was so much stuff, a lot of burdens, a lot of toxicity in this relationship and other relationships that were a part of your nucleus. A lot of toxicity there. I don't know what it was, but the Eight of Cups is here qualifying the Eight of Pentacles reverse. You just didn't want to invest in this anymore. You walked away. You walked away. And maybe it was very, very difficult, but spirit helped because he kind of annihilated the playing field, meaning there was nothing to go back to. Because maybe in the past you went back to something that was toxic. You know, sometimes God will do what we can't do for ourselves. Absolutely. You are current energy healing. Aquarius could be around you from this three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Scorpio, you appear. 
Pisces, you appear twice. So I do see you appearing after the tower, having the strength to walk away and to begin processing what just happened. What just happened to my life? Even if it was eight years of a toxic situation, a lot of burdens, you're now taking the steps to break that apart, to analyze it, because you don't want to repeat any lessons. Absolutely. What went wrong here? The Four of Pentacles is about taking a time out to really examine, rest, clear your mind, get things right in your mind. What went wrong? What went right? What do I want going forward? You know what I like? Like I said, you have a lot of options but you know that these options show up in chaos. And so you know it's not for you. You also have an opportunity to do something different. The, when the wheel shows up, it's about you moving forward, just having the faith and the wherewithal to do what your intuition is telling you to do. It's like sometimes you just surrender and you give up and you say, God, take the wheel. I feel like that is what you're doing. Capricorn, the devil is qualifying the six of cups. Now that could mean a lot of things. You, Capricorn could be thinking about somebody from the past, somebody they want to make amends to. You, somebody is toxic that wants to make amends to you. They want a second chance with you, but there's still some toxicity that they have to work out. This is future energy. Just when you realize that there's an opportunity to get something that doesn't show up with chaos, drama, the devil comes back and we're in Mercury retrograde. So it's very possible for exes to return or people that you have unfinished business with. You show up twice, Capricorn, in your reading. I think you showed up for yourself to pull yourself out of whatever this toxic situation was that all the cups were broken. I mean, you couldn't drink here anymore. And you were forced almost, you know, I feel like God did close this door. He helped you because you may not have been able to do it of your own accord. Anyway, you have the wheel here. You have the wheel here wanting to go forward. There could be some unfinished business that somebody wants to return to you or you to them. You're going to have to accept, assess the level of toxicity or somebody is assessing the level of toxicity. One of you is the high priestess. That person is definitely going to put up the appropriate boundaries. I also see you putting up the appropriate boundaries with the high priestess, knowing when to do what to protect yourself because you've done some work and you're not prepared to let anybody take that from you right now. I, I feel like you're standing strong. That's why you're appearing here twice. You're appearing in the past and you're appearing in the future. That means you made it through the healing, regaining your hope, and focusing on what you really want, the Ace of Pentacles, really, it's coming into focus. It's much more clear. And things start to move away from the past into the future. It's you move into the future, but you have a different mindset. This past situation opened you spiritually. You are much happier. You know, you definitely have made a decision that your happiness matters. Anything else with the love romance angels for Capricorn at this time? Yes, happiness. 
you deserve love for the clarifying. What well, after what you have been through, you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. Tell me about love for Capricorn spirit. This is a love brief. What does spirit have spirit? What does Capricorn have to look forward to? <gasps> Maybe something in the fall. You know, we are in August. I can't believe it, right? We only have like four or five months left to the year and it's done. But the fall is right here. A month, two months. Something's going on in the fall. Okay. I know in a month, it's your birthday month. Maybe you get a birthday present. Oh, your birthday present could be an offer. Virgo. Hmm. It could be a Virgo. I don't know why I said Virgo. Ooh. All right, Capricorn. Maybe it's a Virgo. You have someone finished business with. What else? This person vibrates very high. Or well, you are vibrating very high. There, you attract each other. You attract each other. One of you is also a muse uh, further ahead spiritually, is being sent to teach, right? One of you is very attracted to the other. Something happens in the fall. You get an offer. You're vibrating very high and you attract somebody who's going to teach you a thing or two. Mm, maybe they're older. Maybe they're more mature. Okay. They sure bring out the best in you, divine masculine. This person brings out your divinity. Absolutely. They are a spiritual muse. That's what I was feeling. Mm. Okay, you got divine masculine. Yeah, there is some toxicity. Three cards telling you about this toxicity somebody is bound to something that's toxic it is an addiction meaning you have to have it You're trying to talk yourself out of it and then you find yourself right back in it after you promised yourself you're not gonna do it this is why you may have needed help walking away from this relationship and spirit helped you walk away from the relationship but i hear that somebody can't walk, you can't walk away from yourself, right? Mm. Okay, but so that just shows me that there's something still in the way, somebody's still healing, still working on their selves. Absolutely, you or this person, both of you, absolutely. That's what Spirit just said, but this person. Somebody's a guide here. Somebody is the light. Somebody is more spiritually advanced, Capricorn. They're coming into your life. Something's going to happen this fall. It's a male. So I must be talking to a female. It's a male. Okay. Capricorn, if you're a male, you got a female coming in. And if you're a female, you've got a male coming in. They're divine. Either you or them are going to be the guide concerning divinity. Lessons. This is about lessons. You know, life is just lesson after lesson after lesson. You know, we begin to make healthier choices and that minimizes the impact of these lessons. Okay. Okay, spirit, what else? He really wants your mind open when it comes to love, when it comes to everything. Just a higher level of receptivity. Capricorn, right. And what is most important when it comes to love? Compromise. This relationship, you're going to have to compromise. Don't think that you are going to get your way because you're not. And they shouldn't think that they're going to get their way because they're not. This all relationships, marriage, require compromise. All situations actually require compromise, but especially in a love, intimate 
divine marriage compromise critical it's critical that's why it shows up here and divine masculine divine feminine pick and choose their battles they know what they're willing to compromise on absolutely yeah this is the physical world the material world 3d you have the ace of pentacles you are going to get something tangible it could be money it could be this new relationship the love that you deserve and offer either you or them this is an, a spiritual awakening coming in something tangible capricorn you could wrap your arms around it you can hold it in your hand you're going to be able to physically see feel and touch this okay could be money your financial situation could be changing is capricorn's financial situation changing spirit said be patient Sit there, fold your hands, keep them in your lap, and just be patient. Because when you got something this good coming, plus you have toxicity around you. You know, whatever's coming in for you, it's very good. But you do have toxicity here. And so, Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. It may take longer. We're in Mercury retrograde. Things slow down. This person that's coming in is silent right now. Maybe they're going through a lot. You know, often we think it's us. It's not coming to me. Why is it not coming to me? Maybe it's them that spirit is trying to get ready so that they're aligned with you. You've been doing some work, but maybe it's them. Somebody is numbing. This is addictive, toxic behavior. Whew. I get it. You know, when you don't want to feel, you just don't want to deal with some things. But eventually, you have to. We all have to eventually. Yeah, th this separation is fresh. It's hurting. It's new. It's recent. Yeah, because you have the Three of Swords in your current energy. Mm-hmm. And... You're qualifying the Three of Swords by the star. You are working on healing yourself. You do a damn good job of focusing on what you want. You're also going with the flow. You're not trying to control people or relationships, and you damn sure ain't letting them control you. You're not. Mm -hmm. You find yourself in a solo state after this separation. Mm hmm What else? But somebody still has the addictive behavior. Okay. What else? Spirit. Love and hate. Mm. I do feel that since you have left that relationship and you can't go back anymore, you're looking forward and you see up ahead. It's like you're a visionary. You are divine masculine, which means you're the emperor made up of all the kings, all the king, all the queens. Mm -hmm. So you're the emperor or the empress. You've grown from this. You've matured. <laughs> You're not playing games anymore. Clarity and truth, a revelation. Yet you are a force to be reckoned with right now. You know, when we are alone, healing, it's just you and spirit, nobody else. It's like you are able to really begin to see your power how you are healing yourself back, how when negative mindsets come to entertain you, you quickly change your mind, you change your thoughts, you think of something positive. And that's what we're required to do to stay in our power, to stay balanced, to stay in control. Absolutely. And 
we're learning not to let other people and other things take away our power, impact our feelings. Absolutely. That is part of your protection right now. Because mm -hmm. right now is a very important time to protect yourself at this time, not to let any energy in unless it is given by divine. Absolutely. And unless it comes on its own accord, its own Absolutely. Or spirit is telling you, your intuition is telling you, because you do have the six of cups in the future. I don't know what that's about. Tell me, what is the six of cups here? This is a relationship. Oh my goodness. It is. So the six of cups is, there's a burning desire still someone desires the other a lot this is unfinished business wanting to open your heart wanting to get together the one somebody wants to set up a meeting this is an opportunity to see if your key fits that heart i just heard <laughs> Wow, that's why, and it's this future energy. That's why Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. Mm. You got a soulmate up ahead that's not the same old type of soulmate. Mm. What else? Tell me about this soulmate, Spirit. Wait a minute, let's get some information on that. Wait a minute. Soulmate, I want to tell me about this soulmate, unfinished business, the key in the heart. Mm -hmm. Wow. Spirit says you need to get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. So whereas before you may have operated from your head, a mindset, your mind, Spirit says he wants you to be moved by your heart. Mm. And your thoughts should be centered around what your heart is telling you at this time. That's where the truth lies. Some of you with this four of swords are recharging yourself. Right now, it's like you are retreating taking care of yourself, and self-care is very important. It's like you're recharging your batteries, preparing, preparing, clearing space, clearing your mindset. Spirit wants you to trust this part of your journey. Mm. Understanding that. You had to get through that pain and it was teaching you and others how to love more deeply in a divine higher capacity. That's why, yeah, this is divine intervening, mm. starting with you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Be patient because this is a major transformation. A lot of changes are happening here. Yeah, this is all about you having trust, the truth, a need to trust in the divine plan. The, something spiritually has occurred here because divine masculine shows up. That means divine is here. And he is here because you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. He's definitely showing up because there is advancement here. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You're being blessed for something. You're doing some work. Absolutely. When he closed that door, you didn't go back banging on it, trying to get in. Absolutely. You didn't even sit there staring at that closed door. You took action. You began to heal yourself from what you had just gone through and pray and gave up control to God, right? You only do that to God. But turn the wheel over. You turn the wheel over. That eliminated the chaos, and it made room for something new to come in. Mm. 
Spirit says, get out of your head into your heart because the truth lies in your heart. You need to trust divine's plan at this time, regardless of what's going on externally. Because under Mercury retrograde, things appear a certain way, but it's not going that way. You know, a lot's going on behind the scenes that we can't even see. Faith and trust is very important at this time. Let your heart lead the way. Let's summarize with some angel numbers for Capricorn at this time. Summarizing this reading, what are we leaving Capricorn with? The most important thing. Okay, a lot of fives dropped here. Oh my gosh, a lot of cards. So, some of you are at a point in this reading and Spirit wants you to know it's up to you. He wants you to know you're going to determine how things are going to go, what direction things are going to go in. He also says, you know, it seems, didn't I just say this? It seems like you're not making any meaningful progress. Things are not moving in the right direction. Things may be moving slowly. But if you see the number 2112, hmm. It's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true. Spirit wants you to encourage. He wants me to encourage you to continue to move forward, overcoming obstacles. It's a battle, but you're winning. Absolutely. He sees your life being restructured. And he wants you to pay attention to your creativity. Some of you are blessed with more skills than you're using. As a part of this leveling up, new things are going to be introduced to you. Pay attention to your dreams. Write things down when things come to mind. You may not understand everything, but if you keep notes on it, you'll be able to put it all together. Okay. Some of you, Capricorn, it's about you going into some type of entrepreneurial thing, your own business. It's a project, creative project. Think of it as a project. It's more manageable then. You're being prepared to handle greater things in life for your highest good. Yeah, if some of you feel uncomfortable about this change, you know, this is a major change, walking away from a relationship um, after your life being totally torn apart, you have to start over. That's what I feel. Some of you are starting from the beginning, literally a new place, a new job, a new person, new feelings, the patterns in your life, changing everything. That's why 555 is here. This is a major change. Spirit came to help you. So you know it's major. Mm. Push through all of these feelings of uncomfortability. A reward is awaiting at the finish line. Something with this past person. Ugh. Okay. Eye candy. Mm. Spirit says, get some fresh air, get out in nature. You are an earth sign. You need to be grounded and that's going to keep you balanced too, Capricorn. Getting out in nature, walking around in the grass, take your shoes off, go to the beach, go look around water. There's so much natural beauty waiting to be discovered. Ooh, Spirit's trying to get you out there to see more because that's going to stir your creative juices. He wants you to become involved in an exciting new project. This, yeah. See, you need time to heal. And while you're taking this time for self-care, he wants you to be productive, working on something else you really want. You are very charismatic right now, so use it everywhere. He said everywhere, even in the grocery store. Spread your charm around. 
Some of you remember too, you are, I can't, you don't know when. Love is unexpected, right? It shows up when we least expect it. So always look your best. You always have in your head that you want to be someone's eye candy. I hope you were able to resonate with something that was said. Capricorn, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. 555-0550 or 2112 or anything. I just would like to hear from you. Like, subscribe. You can hit all and that will just take care of everything. Capricorn. I'm going to pray for you in this situation. I pray for all of my subscribers. And thank you so much for staying till the end. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.